all right what's going on everybody broken games hdr here and in this video i'm gonna give you my impressions for the long-awaited pc version of red dead redemption 2. so i'm not gonna get into things we should already know about red dead redemption 2 uh, because in my video uh, of the original version the console version i spoke you know more deeper about the the gameplay and the mechanics and everything like that so you can just go watch that video if you want to hear that stuff the you know my original impressions and this what i want to focus on obviously is the differences um if there are any um besides the visuals of course uh from the console version to the to the pc version right and everybody knows one of the biggest complaints that I had about Red Dead Redemption 2 and why to me it couldn't be game of the year or game of the generation was its atrocious movement, its its terrible input lag, its you know just abysmal controls and just overall bad responsiveness, right? And to this day there are still people that deny that Red Dead Redemption 2 has you know bad input lag and poor responsiveness and all that listen y'all can stick by that if y'all want i think y'all are on drugs or y'all are in serious denial but have at it i stand by it that this game on consoles at least had some of the worst input lag and and, and poorest movement um and, and controls i've ever played in any game right so let's let's address that right off the bat and Digital Foundry did do a video on this and they explained and analyzed why the console version of this game did have so much bad input lag and latency. And it had a lot to do with, you know, how demanding the visuals were and there wasn't a lot of overhead left uh, with the GPU um, and the consoles and everything like, like that. And that could result in, um, you know, just poor responsiveness from the controller, uh, you know, from being signals being sent from the controller to to the to the game and everything like that and the feedback they get more into it but it, it is pretty much proven um that the, that it, it was pretty terrible right so what i can say about this uh, the pc version is it is definitely improved it is a much more responsive much more smooth the 60 frames also helps helps it too and much more responsive it is just an all-around uh more enjoyable and better experience uh, because of all of these things because the fact that you're the the rig if the fact that your rig the rig that you're playing on can um better uh manage uh how demanding this game is uh plus the 60 frames helps with with animations and, and overall movement uh over the 30 frames that the console has so yes the main thing that i complained about in the original in, in the console version has been remedied it's not perfect uh it's the, the movement is still overall pretty stiff rockstar even released a patch uh, re, uh recently it was for the con it was for the the console version but i believe it carries over to this version also where they improve the movement um and and ever and and everything and the responsiveness and everything like that and i did play this game online it seems to affect more online than it does in in the story in the campaign but overall both online and offline the experience is much better so just wanted to address that right off the bat because that's that's honestly the main reason why i even wanted to buy this rebuy re this right because honestly i don't intend to beat the game over again i enjoyed the campaign but i'm somebody you know if you don't know i'm not somebody who really uh rebeats games i once i beat a game it's it's very rare that i go back and play it over again i don't care how much how much i love the game the 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 just the factor of of me knowing everything that happens and me experience experiencing uh everything already that takes away part of the fun factor for me and the surprise factor of uh, i don't know what's going to happen next i don't know what's going to come so once i know all of that you know, it's just, I just don't really have that much enthusiasm to go back and play a game no matter how much I like it. I mean, God of War is my game of the generation. I beat it once and I had no intention to go back again. That's just the type of person I am. So like I said, I really bought it just to experience, you know, the improvements and also because I thought I might enjoy the online 
um, a lot more with these it, with these enhancements. And y'all know I've been craving an online game, so I'm gonna I'm gonna get to that. But one thing I want to address uh, because I uploaded a, a benchmark video um, previously to this video, and I hate that I even have to explain this. When I upload, when you see me upload PC, the, the first PC gameplay, when a game comes out, like whether it's the first PC gameplay I upload or a benchmark, I guess it's console people that don't understand. That's supposed to be a stress test. So when you see, for example, uh, me upload a 4K video of Red Dead, right? Max settings. That's supposed to push the cards to its limits. That doesn't necessarily represent what represent you know the ideal settings you will be playing at right so some people see it like we'll, we'll see the performance and see red dead redemption 2 running at 40 frames on pc with the 2080 ti not understanding that this game it's literally being maxed out and the and the graphical settings are extensive it's it's they have very extensive graphical settings in, in, in the options right but if you just put those settings pretty much to 4K medium, then it's it runs more ideally and and much better. So people will see you know the 4K 40 max uh, uh, 4K maxed out and say it's uh, see it running at 40 frames and say oh the Xbox version is, is better. <laughs> I, I hate to explain to you idiots that the Xbox version runs at 4K, but not all 4K is equal. You can have 4K with very low settings. This was 4K with maxed settings, ultra. There is a big difference, okay? I just had to explain that because some of the comments I were seeing was absolutely idiotic. So yes, with a 2080 Ti, you can run this game in 4K with lower settings that are still higher than the Xbox settings, right? And if that doesn't work for you, yeah, I, I even was playing the, some of the campaign in 1440p. You know that's that's and, and it was it was running pretty well like i said 4k uh medium and, and low settings i was able to uh pretty much stay at, at, at 60 close to 60 right so the game is beautiful i i don't think i have to uh explain that it's it's absolutely gorgeous um it looked pretty decent on consoles uh it was it was kind of ashy on consoles in my opinion but it, it's it's apps on pc it is absolutely gorgeous it's it's beautiful it's it's a pretty ass presentation i don't know how many uh ways you know how many more ways there is to put it every dimension of this game is just absolutely you know detailed and um you know it, it's, it's honestly mind-blowing um so the last thing i want to uh really address is i played a little bit of the online right because i thought i might be able to get into a little bit on the little bit of the online and play it for a little while um so being that the controls and everything like that are improved and you know you also have the option to use mouse and keyboard for a little bit more accuracy and i did try out this game both with um mouse and keyboard and and on a controller by the way to see you know to, to test out how it feels and the only problem i would say with mouse and keyboard yes of course you know it's it's we all know with mouse and keyboard, you get more accuracy, right, from, from using the mouse. The only problem that's not ideal with mouse and keyboard, and it's still a problem, it, it's not Red Dead's fault, but it is a problem. Red Dead has a lot of button mappings, and that's because there's a lot of functions in the game. For example, when you go into the the uh, the button layout uh, on, on the PC version, it's like four times longer than you, than what you would see in your average game way more button inputs and mappings right so and, and and it's multiple even though a keyboard has a, a lot of um key a lot of keys um there's a lot there's a lot of keys that aren't i that you don't ideally use for gaming and there are a, a lot of uh keys that are um that are double triple and even quadruple assigned no joke the f key in in the button layouts is assigned to like five different functions. I, I I I shit you not. So that's the that's the real problem I was looking at. I'm like, okay, so if you use mouse and keyboard, you kind of gotta like remember that like, okay, the F is the F is for like five different different functions. B might be for three different functions. E might be for 
another four different functions. So it's not necessarily I ideal, um, and especially especially if you want to spread that out um, um, across your keyboard, all these different functions. Not everybody wants wants to do that. You know, that's not exactly ideal for PC gaming to be pressing all these unconventional unconventional keys that you don't usually use in gaming. And now it was a similar problem on the console for me. I complained about that too with, I, I forgot which, what it was on the controller, but there was like four functions mapped to like, I think it was the directional button. I forget, it was one of the directional buttons and it, and it was mapped to like four different functions. So being that there's just so much you're capable of doing in 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 Red Dead, it's just become it just becomes really cumbersome in, in that way, right? So, but that, that but that's just part of the game because it has so many functions and mechanics. But the online is is okay. Um, it, it is a better experience in in my opinion. Um, the so there 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 are free aim lobbies i believe the game that you're seeing that you saw me play on on screen just now that was a free aim lobby because i i went to the setting and i tried to ch try to see if you could change it to uh you know the auto aim setting which you know the console version at least when i when i played it it didn't have free aim which was a huge problem because i want to use free aim but i'm playing against a whole bunch of people using auto aim and i don't believe you're even playing the game if you're using auto aim right if you're using that snap on aim i don't even believe you're really playing the game i think you're you, you i think you're just letting the game play for you that's a whole bunch of aim bot shit so at least this this game on pc just ha does have like free aim uh lobbies and it, it runs smooth like i said the 60 frames helps and everything like that um it the movement is still a little still a little weird like i said i i i, I use both um the controller and mouse and keyboard uh on online too to see what i like better uh, like I said, just for the just for the reason of how many keys you have to press, uh, I, I still had a better experience a, a better experience using a controller with it, and it is a third person shooter. Typically, third person shooters are better uh, on controller, even on PC. So you know that was my experience. But I had a decent I had a decent time um, using uh, just just playing the online. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's it's the it's definitely the definitive edition. If this is your first time playing Red Dead, you're definitely getting the better experience, um, you know, because I was definitely hindered, and my experience, uh, my experience playing the game the first time on, on consoles was definitely tarnished by the fact that I had to deal with all those bad controls and and on all that shit you had to had to deal with. So the ideal and the definitive version is definitely the 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 PC version. So, but you know, um, I I wish it was it was there at first. Um, because I don't feel like I got the full experience of Red Dead. And like I said, I'm not really the type of person to uh, replay to replay games, right? Um, unless, you know, there's, there's very few exceptions. But um, yeah, I mean, those are my first, those are my, those are my impressions of, of the game. Um, not really much else to say about it. And uh, yeah, um, I hope this helps. I know some people are, trying to figure out if they can double dip if they want to double dip the game is definitely demanding they did put out some low requirements it's not it's not you know the the best optimized game but it's far from the worst for what red dead is the the fact that i was running you know 4k um on and everything on ultra and still hitting like 40 45 frames in in some areas is still very impressive so yeah but uh that's all I got to say about it. Let me know what y'all think about this. Make sure you hit the like button to support. Hit the notification bell so you can know anytime I upload. Subscribe if you're not. And uh, yeah, I'll check y'all later. Peace.